So now, as you know that if you have dragged and dropped the text to speech component, then you are not able to see it, right? Because why? Because it's a non visible component, right? It does some action for us, but it doesn't, you are not able to see it on your screen, which is the non visible component, okay? So now just scroll down, and here you can see the non visible component like text to speech. Right, so now that we are going to code this application, okay. So now let's move on to the uh, block screen, okay. So for the block screen, what you have to do is on the right end, you can see something like blocks, right? Just click on the blocks here and then let's give the blocks, okay. So here you have got two screens. One is the block screen and another one is the viewer screen. Okay. And here you have a dustbin for where you can just drag and drop the blocks that you know need to the dustbin. Okay. So now the first thing that we are going to do is what when the user clicks on the button, then what should happen? Okay. So let's go to button one and choose the block count when button one is click button one is the name of your button click me okay so now what should happen it should be converting the text to speech right so let's go to text to speech and just click call text to speech and speak okay so what it should be speaking the message that you want it to be speaking should be given here in this puzzle space okay here you can see a puzzle block space where you can fit a puzzle block okay so now let's go to text and just take this text component keep it here okay now let's write hello subscribe to coding duty right which is our YouTube name. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so now you want to see that whether your app works, right? For that, what you have to do is first of all go take your Android mobile phone. Okay, then just go to connect. So after taking the Android mobile phone, I hope you took that. Okay, just go to your Play Store and just download the app called MIT AI2 Companion. Okay, so I am like hoping that from the Play Store you all have downloaded MIT AI2 Companion. So after downloading it in the screen itself, you can see an option called Connect. Can you see on the top bar? Just click on the Connect. Make AI Companion. And then you will be able to get the code as well as the QR code, right? If you want to scan the QR code using that app, you can do that. And after scanning it, what will happen? You will be able to see your app there, okay? So I hope that you are able to see your application there with the button. Just try to click on the button over there, okay? So now after clicking the button, I hope you can hear like, hello, subscribe to Coding Duty, right? So now this is our first app, okay? So now after creating the app, you want to install this app into your computer or no, into your mobile phone, okay? Into your Android mobile phone with the name and the icon. What you have to do is first let's set the icon. Okay, go to designer. In the screen one, there is an option called icon. Can you see this? Just click on this and upload a file that you want as the icon of your application. Okay, so after doing that, go to the build option and take app QR code for dot apk. Okay. Provide QR code for dot APK. And using the same app, you have to like scan the QR code. Okay, so now this is the pro 
notice bar that's happening on my screen and it is compiling. Okay. So let's wait until the compiling is over and then let's try to install it to the application to your mobile phone application into your mobile phone. Okay. Let's wait for some time. So now you can see that it's over, like it's almost 10%. You know, it's almost 100% and you have got a barcode, okay? Just try to scan this using the same MIT AI2 companion, okay? And after scanning it, they will ask, like a pop-up will come, like to give yes, okay? So in the pop-up, you have to give yes and then download it, okay? And after downloading it, you will be able to see our application along with your WhatsApp, Facebook, and Instagram and other applications in your mobile phone, okay? So I hope this was clear to you, okay? So with the next, so after watching this video, please watch the next video for the next, your second application, okay? So that will be the second application that you want to create, okay? So thank you students for, for watching my video. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Press the bell button as well as the as well as share it with your friends and family. Okay. So if you have any comments, please do give me a feedback in the comment section given below. Okay. Thanks and see you in the next video with the with another application. Bye. Hello friends and welcome to today's video. In this video, I am going to tell you how students can create applications on their own wish and how they can be using this application in your mobile phone. Okay. <coughs> so before starting, let's go into the video. What you have to do is first subscribe to my channel. And please like my video. Okay. And then let's see how you can create applications. Okay, to create applications, students, what you have to do is you have to use a online platform called MIT App Inventor. Okay, using the MIT App Inventor, we are going to create the applications. Okay, it is actually a blog based programming tool in which you are able to create applications using blogs. So now I'm going to tell you what are block codes, okay? Block codes means they are a set of instructions given in the form of block, okay? So you can keep them together in such a way that it will be working and performing some actions, okay? So this is block code. So every student will be easily able to understand how to create applications using MIT, okay? So let's move on to the MIT studio, okay? So for that, what you have to do is just click here and click for MIT app inventor, okay? And click on enter. So now you have to click the first one called MIT app inventor. Click on this. Then you can click on the orange button here called create apps. Okay, so now the screen is actually loading and you can wait for some time. Okay. So now they are asking me to sign in. 
you can use the account the google account to sign in okay otherwise what you can do is you can if you are a child and you have a still have a gmail account and if it shows some error don't worry okay you can use your parents account to create applications in mit app inventor okay so now click on this email id so i am using this channel's mail id itself okay so now it's just asking us for the terms of service okay let's give i as of the terms of service now you can just give like don't show again and then give continue okay now let's give like close okay so now what you have to do is you have to create a first project okay for that let's go to start a project and let's give my first project okay so don't use spaces in between your application name your project name means it is your application name so don't give spaces in between while giving but you can use the underscore to separate the words okay so now i choose like my first project okay so now let me introduce this first screen to you guys okay what you can do and how you can be doing okay so here you can see that your screen is completely divided into four different sections okay the first section is the palette from where you are able to get the components like the button the date picker image list picker password text box and things like that from the palette what you can do is if you need a component you can directly drag it and drop it into the screen okay so now the next one is the viewer screen this is a demo screen where it shows like how your application look like okay after designing how your application would be looking like in your mobile phone so that is the viewer screen okay the next one is the component screen component screen means if you have dragged and dropped a component to the viewer screen then those components will be listed in the component screen okay and the last one is the properties like if you want to change the text size the color the font the alignment the alignment means like whether you want it on the left end or the right end or the bottom end such things can be uh, given through the components okay so this is all about our designer screen okay so now let's do the first app okay so in this application what we are going to do is like we have to drag and drop a button in such a way that what is going to happen if you click on the button it will be telling you hello and your name okay so whatever is your name you can add that together okay so once when you click on the button that is going to happen okay in this section itself we are going to discuss four different projects okay so so just be like doing with me along and after the complete video you will be able to do like four different uh projects okay in this video itself okay so now what i'm going to do is let's first take the button okay so the first one is button just drag and drop it here okay so now you know that text for button one okay we have to place it in a position then we have to change the text design the button okay so for that what you have to do here you can see in the components there is button one right so now just go just scroll down and here you can see text right let's give click me okay so now you can see that here it has been updated like click me okay so let's change the text color to orange which is not visible right let's give white or red 
okay so now let's change the background color so where is the background color you can see the first option is the background color just change it to black okay so now this looks good if you want the font to be bold you can give that and you can see that the font is bold if you want to increase the font size you can even do that okay now it's the height and the width now we have chosen it to be like automatic if you want to add any images you can do that and image button if you want you can directly do that now let's set the size okay which is rounded you can see all the edges are rounded this is rectangular which is the default one and then the oval okay so all these are there and i'll choose rounded okay so whichever is the one that you need you can even choose that okay so now what we are going to do is like let's move the button to the center of the screen okay for that just go to screen one okay let's change it to center so now you know at the top center it is click me right now let's move it to the center of your screen for that vertical center you have to give okay now let's try to change the background color just go to background color here and then choose a color okay so now you know that it is like you have a button here so now what the application should be doing the application should be doing in such a way that if you click on the button it should be telling you hello welcome to my first app or hello and your name okay anything you can keep okay so here what we need is a, a something a component so we have to click into speech okay so the component name is text to speech go to search components let's type for text to speech drag it and drop it okay so now you have the text to speech